Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of work around base here. A couple things I want to take care of, and it'll kind of automate some of the stuff that I do behind the scenes, like picking up dino treats to feed the dung beetle, that way we have fertilizer, keeping the feed troughs kind of topped up, and then the main thing I'm wanting to get it for is for cement paste. It's going to be the S plus item aggregator. It picks up things for you and distributes stuff. I've got a couple of these snails teamed up, and that's going to help us out with cement paste. So those things, whenever they leave their little presents, you can pick it up for cement paste, right? But it only lasts on the ground for a couple seconds. So if you're not following it around, it just disappears. That item aggregator will go ahead and pick it up for us. And I don't know if it stores it or if it can automatically put it into storage or what. So we'll do a little bit of testing with that. And then I'm thinking of, so I like all the flowers, right? They look good, the plant species, but we are losing quite a few of them. I know I've talked about it before, all the ones that I have, and I still have issues with the dinos getting too close before they could get killed off and destroying them. Around this backside here, oh dude, I've lost so many of them. I just replaced them not too long ago, and the whole backside is gone already. Yeah, see? So, somebody left me a comment about taking all the Velanosaurs we had in the Savage Acro fight and setting up like little stations, kind of like right here and maybe one more over there. And putting them on turret mode and letting them just take care of everything. So that's what we'll kind of do. That item aggregator should also keep the feed bins full. From what I read. Which will kind of work out because whenever those Velanosaurs start, you know, killing stuff a lot, it, it uses a lot of their food. And I keep forgetting to fill my feed trough up. Yep, see? <laughs> talking about timing. That's what I'm talking about. I'm always running out of food in these things. So, hopefully it'll help out a little bit and make my life a little bit easier. I have stocked up quite a bit on stuff. I just came back from a very, very large metal run to try to replenish our stuff from building that thing. And I think we're kind of good on everything else. The only thing we're really starting to get really low on is elements and the cement paste. See, man, we're down to 216 again. So, let's get this thing made and see what the range is on it and kind of figure out how it works out. I'm really hoping it's going to do what I'm thinking it's going to do. Yeah, it's this thing right here. It's super cheap to make, so it's not that big of a deal. So one of those, I've got four of these. So here's the thing too. So they don't have a gender, but they have a mating option. So I don't know if it's a possibility to breed these. Uh, probably not because they don't have a gender. It says online that they're breedable. So I don't know. We'll, we'll play with that a little bit today too. I'm thinking about putting those guys in here. So we have all of the feather raptors in here. I'm thinking about getting rid of half of them. So let's just pick some of them up. And I think that leaves us a male over here still, right? Yeah, so we got a male. One, two, three. If I have a saddle on one of you, I can borrow. We do. Let's move it over, and we'll kind of make half of this for snails and half of it for the feather raptors. So that's where I get all my kibble eggs from, you know? Tell you what, for right now, let's leave this guy here. And then what we'll do... Excuse me. What we'll do for the snails is we'll put a bunch of... Probably just railings up right here. Kind of block this whole part off, and we'll throw all of them in here. I've only got four for now. If we can breed them, I'll definitely get a lot more. And then kind of fill that up, and we shouldn't have any more problems after that. Let's see what the range is on this. Let's just... Where do we want to set it at? Hey, well, let's set it right here. It's kind of in the middle of base. So we don't have a way to make the range bigger, so whatever it's at, it's at. Take a look outside real quick and see. Oh, that is a huge range. Okay, that's cool. So that'll work. That kind of covers the whole base. Which means it'll cover all of our crops and all of our plant species. Oh, dude, that's fantastic. We could also move it around if we need to as well, but that's kind of good. It covers a lot of area, and our feed trough should go, I think, the whole island. Double check, because that's going to kind of dictate where we're going to put our Velanosaurs at. Oh yeah, that goes all the way out to the edge. So I'm wanting to do probably two stations of the Velanosaurs. Like I said, one right over here, and then probably one right over here. That's the two main places that the Brontos spawn. They do spawn over there as well. So, uh, let's see, I don't remember how many of them we have left. If we can do three stations, we will. I don't know if they're in here or the other one. The other one. I was thinking about putting like five or so in each one. 
Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. We got eighteen, so we can. We can do five in each one. Or yeah, five in each one and have three stations, and that should be fine. At least those guys are gonna be used for something then. So let's turn the range finders off real quick. And do this other one, and then we'll kind of get a little pin set up, and then we'll play with this some more and see what all exactly it does, because I think there's a huge list. See, we've got distribute options. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just... We'll do that in a minute. Let's get the, uh... <laughs> let's get this thing set up. We might have some railings already made. We just need some wooden ones. We've got six. That might be enough. I don't think they need to be too high. I think one high should be enough. I mean, they're just snails, right? Oh, they have four-wheel drive capabilities, but... We'll find out. i put you there. Wait, I think they need to be on wandering, right? I'll tell you what, hold on. Let's let's try something first. Disable wandering. Enable mating. Enable mating. Oh, they are mating! That is weird! Genderless, but they do mating. Is it going to come out as an egg or as a little snail? Interesting. That's going to make it a lot easier. Tell you what, let's go ahead and just... What happens if we do three? Doesn't work. you got to have four. <laughs> that's kind of neat. <laughs> Dude, that's going to make life so much easier. I might need to make a little bit more room in here. I was thinking if we could have probably around 10 or so of these, depending on how quick it picks them up. I've never really paid attention. I tamed them a long time ago back on, I think it was Extinction. And kind of stopped messing with them because, well, I mean, you got to follow them around. That was before I was playing with mods and stuff. So let's, let's give this a second and we'll see how this comes out as eggs or what. They take a long time. Holy crap, they take a long time. I need to figure out see what they eat. I do have some of the veggie cakes left over that I made from taming them. I kind of over overdid it on making them. So we can put those in the feed trough if we need to. Unless they eat something else. I have to look that up real quick. Because I do not want these guys to die. Alright, so I'm going to turn mating off on these two. I did read and it said that they only eat the veggie cakes. So let's just breathe the one and see what happens real quick. That's something I'll have to stock up on later. Oh, they got a gestation period. Oh, there's some of the stuff they leave. Can I pick you up? That doesn't have a spoil timer, right? It doesn't. Cool. So once it picks it up, it's fine. But we'll have to see what happens with the little ones. I'm hoping... Oh, they both have little ones. That's weird. We'll probably have to pick them up right away and take them over to the nanny. I didn't think about doing it over there. But if they only eat veggie cakes, <laughs> that's going to get super expensive. It's not that hard. We already have everything to make them. I might need to up my production for some of the vegetables, but we can always stack some more of the crop plots up in there. The honey shouldn't be an issue. It makes a ton of it anyways. But let's give it a minute and we'll see what comes out of these guys. Maybe just throw them into soul traps and deal with them later. All right, so we're just about ready here. Get this ready to pick them up if we have to. Oh, dude. <laughs> Little baby snails. They went flying all over the place. Cool. Let's run these guys over here real quick. I did not know that was a thing with snails. I thought they weren't able to be bred. It's going to be hard to see them with the floor. Oh, no. They kind of float on top. Oh, dude. That is awesome, man. Little baby snails. Well, I'll tell you what. All right. So, let's see. Let's, um, let's go ahead and just do it this way. I don't want them to die. Wait. Can we not? There we go. All right, man, y'all eat up. Let's go ahead and put these other ones into the feed trough. Hopefully the snails are the only thing that eats it. I don't know if any of the other dinos will go nibbling on it. Oh, dude, yep, okay, okay. That's going to get very expensive very fast. So, let's go ahead and start setting these out, and then we'll get our item aggregator set up. And hopefully it's going to work out, man. All right, I need to put you on wandering. I think they need to be on Wandering. I could be wrong. It happens. <laughs> but it'll be kind of neat having them kind of roam around instead of just sitting there as well. Oh, yeah, I want to turn off mating, too. Do they walk around? I thought they do. 
Put everybody on passive. Alright, so that's it there. Put this one there. And that is our little farm there. Why are you following me? Don't follow me. So, let's check over here. See, it'll help picking up those treats all the time, too. So, collection options. Oh my gosh. So, here's everything for the dino treats. So, let's pick up... Wait. It'll be converted to large when collected. Okay. So, we'll do that. So, it'll pick up that. Here's the paste that I wanted to pick up. I don't think we need to pick up anything else. We're not messing with this. I don't know if I'm going to use one of those. That kind of automates all of the breeding and everything. I kind of don't want to do that. Wait, why does it have it? Oh, that's off the ground. Okay. So does that keep it from dropping it on the ground? I don't want it to do that. I wanted to pick it. I wanted to actually drop it and then pick it up. And then not worried about... Ooh, the owl pellets. Oh, dude. I think my snow owl is still over on extinction. Let's turn that on for now. And we'll leave the gotcha crystals on. We're going to deal with those at some other point in time. I still want to do a little gotcha farm. Because there's one of the, or two things in the S+. Plus. There's the crystal cracker. And there's also, I think, one of the ones that picks them up. And I don't think we need to worry about any of this. We're not, I don't want it to pick up crops. I want that to stay up top. So that's, that's good there. And then distribute. I want it to distribute that to the dung beetles. That was one of the main things. So I don't have to keep running up there. Okay, so there's the crystals to the crystal cracker whenever we go to do that. And then upload it. Okay, cool. So upload to dedicated storage. So what I'm hoping is, and we'll see if it works, it should pick up all of the paste from those, the treats from those, distribute it to the dung beetle, and then pick it up from the dung beetle and distribute it to the plants that needs it. I know we have the farmer up there. I might disable him to do some checking. And then I need to set up one of these for the cement paste. Let's make one more. Dedicated storage. S plus, please. Alright, one of you. Forgot that takes so long for it to craft. Oh man, it's going to be so nice though having the extra supply of cement paste. And not having to worry about it, you know? And then, oh, was there a setting in there for, I thought it was one for the feed troughs. Oh, it does fuel in structures and ammo and turrets. Interesting. Stacks of unique foods in, okay, let's keep. Only tops up the existing food types, okay. Should we do 10? Wait. We want more than that. Let's do... 100. So this didn't have any meat in it. And it still doesn't. Do I have to put meat in here for it to work? You know what I might do is set up one of these just for... Just for the snails. So that nothing else eats them. Oh, man. Maybe I have to put some meat in there for it to work. It says it only keeps topped up what's in there. I need to, need to cook some more, man. I got a whole bunch of raw. We're almost out of cooked meat, though. Yeah, those things are going to tear that up, man. I don't know how long I've been out of food. I tried to keep it topped up, but I've been doing a lot of farming recently for restocking. And haven't paid attention. And this, I had set up so much in there for... All of the mantis, because they eat that spoiled meat. Totally forgot about that, man. Oh, I need to put it out here. So it'll just take it over to it. I got a storage set up for it. There we go. So yeah, I don't know what's wrong. Well, I had it set for 100. I should refill it, though, right? Because it's only got 75 in there. It's not, though. Might be something I'm doing wrong as well. That's a good... <laughs> that's a good possibility. So that's just for collection. We don't care about the collection. We just want the distribution. So do I need to have the food in here then for it too? Okay, 
It's in there, but nothing's happening. What about this? Is it on? Activate. Boy, I tell you what. Let's not talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> let's go check it again. Ah, oh, dude, totally forgot to uh, activate it. But it's still only at 75. So it said unique foods. That's what kind of has me worried. I wonder if it's only for these then. I don't know, man. Need to do some research. And we have... I need to set this for... The paste. You gonna... There's two in the inventory. And I'm sure they're dropping some over here. Oh, we got little ones! Who's still on mating? Can I... Can I... There we go. Are they mating because they're on wandering? Alright, alright, alright. Let's... Let's... Yeah, okay. So go ahead and pick you up. Pick you up. Maybe I should do these one at a time, just so that we can get it sorted out. Because I'm not seeing any... Yes, yeah, so we got another another little one. Alright, let's let's do this, man. Let's do this. We're having problems here. Alright, so there's some paste there. It's not picking it up. I don't have that other box checked for the collection, though. Let's try that. Still on the ground. Not gonna last there forever. Alright, give me a second. Let me try to figure out what's going on. It's activated. There's a poop buffer. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh, wait, it is picking it up. So now we got seven in there. Why is it not sending it to storage, though? Interesting. Okay, give me a minute. Let me, uh... Let me check. It is collecting, though. We got eight in there now, though. So it's not that big of a deal if I have to sort it out myself. It's not doing anything with the food, though. That kind of has me worried if it's going to work with the regular meat. Alright, so did a little bit of looking online, and apparently there's been some issues with it that a lot of people have been having for a very long time. For this to work with the foods, it's saying that you can only have one food type in there, which isn't going to work. I just want to see if that's what the case is. Yep, dehydrated. Okay. It is picking stuff up. And then there was some treats in here, so it is giving stuff to the dung beetles. Let's go check. I just put those two back in there. And I did empty out the dung beetles. So if there's anything in them, it is from that, which is fine. That kind of, that's one of the main things I was wanting that and then the cement paste. Okay, so that is working for... The dino treats. I did deactivate him. So he is turned off for right now. So it's not being picked up by him. And then I don't think the food thing's gonna work. Yeah, I don't know. I changed the count from 99. It says stacks. I kind of misread that at first. That's why I put 99 in there. But that's just for how many stacks you want it to distribute. So I got it just set for two stacks now. So if we take one stack away... Let's check real quick, and then I'm going to leave it be. I'm not going to mess with this for too long. So we're less than two stacks in there now. And it's only one food type. Maybe I need to... Let's try that, just to reset it. And I think it only pulls out of its inventory, which kind of sucks because that's not refrigerated, is it? Oh, it is. Interesting. But it's not distributing that, and it's not putting this into the storage bin that we made. So like I said, not too big of a problem. The main thing I wanted to do is just pick it up so it doesn't disappear from the ground. I can easily take it and throw it into this. Yeah, that's still at zero. Hmm. Well, didn't exactly work out like I was hoping. Let's put some more of this food back in here. <laughs> I don't want anybody to starve. Yeah, it's only at 25 still. Weird, man, weird. Put that in there for wingman. If it's only going to be one kind in here, it's not going to work. I'm not going to have 20 different feed troughs. Just so that I can have one individual kind of food in each one. I mean, we've got everything from stone to the chitin to, you know, regular meat and everything for for the teams. Let's go ahead and fill this up a little bit then. 
the cooked meat. Let's go ahead and just do all of that, and we'll do all of that. And that'll sort everybody out for a few minutes. Cool! Well, it's a little bit weird. I was gonna say, why do I have those in my inventory? I forgot what we did with them. Let's go ahead and start working with getting our stuff set up for the Velanosaurs. And I want to throw these guys in here. Just make sure that they're not on mating. Or wandering. Because they will wander to breed as well. So that's off. That's off. We're good on there. Is that the last one that I have fully grown? Should be one more. Cool. So those are set. Like I said, I'll deal with the little ones later. I'll probably get... I want to get around 10 or so all raised up and get them in here. And that should be quite a bit of pace production for us. We are going to be needing quite a bit whenever we do... There's 24. Let's take that out and we'll see how much it produces while we're just doing the Velanosaurus. We're going to need quite a bit whenever we go down and start building our underwater area. Or renovating it, I guess. Let's see what we have. I'm thinking about building metal for the Velanosaurus, just so that they last a little bit longer. And all we're going to need, we don't have anything made, but I'll tell you what. All we're going to need is a pillar and then a couple ceilings. Probably three, six, nine ceilings for each one. Oh yeah, and I can't install these, I think, because they have the upgrade mod on them. I think that might be what's keeping them from being put into the replicator and installed. I think. I don't know for sure. That's just my guess. It's the only thing different between those and our other stuff that does work, you know? Hopefully we got enough cement paste for this. So, metal pillars. We just need them... Yep, yeah, not tech. Metal, please. Metal. One high. Let's do three of those. And then we're going to do ceilings. We're going to need, what, 27? Oh, we don't have no cement paste. That's what I'm talking about, man. I can make some. We'll see what we can get done with this, and I'll have to deal with the rest of it later. I'm thinking about doing them nine. We not might not need nine. I was going to have the one in the middle, and then three rows of three. That might be too much, though. We don't have any railings made up, right? I don't remember what I had left over from building our, our little pin over there for the... For the Rex is a Domination Rex. I probably can't do that. Yeah, I don't have any cement paste. Ah, oh, boy, I tell you what. All right, let's leave that for now. Let's grab some of these. Make sure we get at least a couple males mixed in so we get that bonus, right? This is what I can always set up over here later. I want to kind of wait and see how it works out with just the two. Kind of like the two little stations. Maybe I'll set it up right here. Because that'll still cover the area. If I put them on long range, it'll shoot over there. Might be the best bet then. Let's do that. I mean, four would really be enough, right? Not even really that many. How many can you fit in each one? Let's see how big they are. Oh, wait. Yep. Okay. They're <laughs> a lot bigger than I thought it was. All right. Let's go ahead and do the, the three by three. That should be... That should be enough room. Oh, dude. I forgot they were so big. I was thinking they were smaller for some reason. But that'll work. I want to put, like I said, probably five in each one if we can. If we need that many, I was just thinking the more, the merrier. That way they have... They kill everything off, right? Before stuff starts getting destroyed. Maybe we'll just do four in each one. Each face in a corner. What are you? You're a female. You're a female. Let's do a male for sure. Let's just do two males. We'll keep it even. Alright, so what you're gonna do is... You are on turret mode already. And I want it to be... Targeting range high. We'll set it like that for all of them. That should be turret mode as well already. Nice, nice. So the metal should be good to hold up against dinos. And then whenever we put the railings, 
I don't know if they can shoot through the railings. That's something else, too. I don't want them going anywhere. Maybe I'll just leave them up like this and weigh them down. Put one railing instead of closing them in in a cage. I don't think they can shoot through railings. All right, there we go. So we have that. It is the next morning. It was getting pretty dark out. And that probably pulled some of the pace. I only made up a little bit over there. Probably should have made more. So means how we were testing for the snail paste. But I think it's going to work out like this. I kind of want to see when stuff spawns in how far the range is on these guys. I might end up doing one more. Kind of depends on the damage too that they kind of do. I know it's only like 20 or so for each one. And hopefully the railings will just keep them from walking off. I know sometimes they do move. I might need to weigh them down with stone. But the feed trough should reach them. So I shouldn't have to worry about them starving or anything out there. They'll be kind of like low maintenance, right? I don't know. See, I don't know if the second one will block their, their shooting or not. Because it kind of crouched down when they go into turret mode and it makes it a little bit smaller. Well, they're onto something. Ah, oh, the Parasaur. I got them on aggressive. Okay. So, yep, they are hitting... Ah, oh, they're hitting the railing already. I mean, they killed it. They definitely killed it. But, a lot of their spines hit the railing. I wonder if I should... Hmm. What if I should take the railing off? I think it'll be fine. We'll have to see. Maybe I will... Leave the area and come back and see if we can get a Bronto to spawn in. Usually, whenever I come back, the base... From being out of way, there's a Bronto or two spawned in. So let me do that. Let me hop on a bird. Do we have anything over here? Let's hop on the dragon and do some testing and see about that. And this is... It is collecting. It is at a very slow pace. That's why I want to get 10 or so of them. So they're doing fine. They don't need to be on wandering. I thought they did to produce the paste. It just kind of sucks, though, that it's not going to take it. And oh, wait. We got you guys, too. You're ready. Nope, still raising up. I don't want to waste any element on it. It's not worth it, you know. Can I climb this, please? And you guys are still doing fine? <gasps> Holy crap, dude! Well, it is definitely picking up and giving it to the dung beetles. <laughs> that was empty. Holy crap, man. I'm just kind of curious if it's going to actually pick the fertilizer up, too. It should. Even if it doesn't distribute it, as long as it picks it up. And I have everything kind of in one area in the item aggregator. I can always go there to get stuff. Anyways, let me circle around the map real quick and we'll see if anything spawns in. All right, so no Bronto spawned in. There is a Stego there. And they were attacking something over here. So I was flying up. I mean, there's a Parasaur. I was really wanting to see how it is. Dude, that range is not long at all on those, is it? Neither one of those groups are actually reaching the... The Parasaur. There's a pig there, too. They're tracking it. I mean, that's fine. I'm not too worried about the little stuff. Oh, there we go. So that's the range on them. Oh, dude, I really need to get one more right there in the middle, then. I'm going to take it out pretty fast. What was... Yep, see, there's the problem there. Like with that Stego. Everything starts uh, attacking it, and they're not killing it off quick enough. What level are you? You're 120. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, uh, dude. So, the plants just fire a lot slower than the Velanosaurus do is the thing. But I think it'll work out. I'll have to get some more. i got to wait till I get more cement paste, man. <laughs> we're, we're running pretty low. I'll probably set one more up right there, and then we should be good. Three sets of those. And that'll keep all the Brontos that should reach all the way out to the water. And that's the main thing I'm worried about is the Brontos. I don't really care about the Parasaurs and stuff. They don't come up by base too often. And then I'm kind of, I don't know, kind of disappointed a little bit about the item aggregator. It works for the cement paste, but I was hoping that it was going to actually distribute food and everything else. Seems how it's a little bit broken, maybe they'll, maybe they'll get it patched eventually. But it's definitely going to collect this a lot easier, the paste as well. Especially once I get 10 of them. Oh, that should be... Kind of uh, stocking us up a little bit, you know? Hmm, interesting. Well, a little bit of automation here at base. We don't have to worry about collecting cement paste so much. We don't have to worry about collecting the dino treats and giving them to the dung beetles. And I don't have to worry about filling up and replanting the plant species every time I log in. Dude, we're always missing like three or four plants. I'm going to go through, put them all on passive, and just have them there for looks. 
and we'll let the Velocitaurus take stuff out. I'll make one more pillar of them, just so that the base is fully protected, and then we should be good to go, man. However, we are gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our little bit of testing that we did today with some of the new items. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.